is here. Nice. <clears throat> we will start the shoot in like a minute, okay? I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the computer. And as soon as I could do it, I'll begin. Can you please help me with the computer? Hello, did you put the Kakuri's phone to be recording? Listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, wait. I know. 874, 6, 12, 44, 19, 17. No. The horse kicked the mic. Kicked it back in. No, Shimshon first. Yeah? Go. It's not going to work. You didn't kick the mic. Connecting. That's it. Look. Look. You are unable to enjoy the meeting because you were rudely removed by the host. He kicked you out. You can't go back in. Why did he you kick you out? Okay, should we try one more time? No, you can't. Okay, okay, take it away. That's all. Times. Take it away. No try problem. No problem. Time. No problem. No problem. Take it away. Okay. <coughs> um, do you need record to give me the this? In a minute. Java. Yes. Tell the rabbits to sign out of Zoom and then click on the link. You'll be able to get back in. No, the pro problem is I'm doing it through laptop. And uh, in the phone, I could, but I want to do it through the laptop so I can see people. Here, I can see only four people at a time. Uh huh. And it's a little bit stressful, so I like to see Khabura. Sorry. See, when I see you, it's a different story. From Mikhail. Thank you. Ah, Yonatan, it's you. Mr. Janashvili, Shalom Aleichem. How are you? Nice seeing you. Malo Bukhor, Shalom Aleichem. Michael! Michael Janashvili, Shalom Aleichem. How are you guys? Kol Besedan, nice seeing you. We will start amazing Zera Shimshon in exactly one minute. And it's not, again, it's not going to be that long. Today is Zera Shimshon for 15 minutes. Hi. <coughs> Close this. And this this works nice and so you can see what you can do. See? Yes, good. Press this. See? Take that away. I'll take off your phone. Okay. <clears throat> Tell them to be quiet upstairs. And uh, where are we? Where am I? Here, this oh, here. Why is it? I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No. Three, two, one. Shalom to everyone. We are learning today Zena Shimchon from Parashat Kedoshim. And number Zain, page Tzadik Vav. This Zena Shimchon is so unique that uh, I decided to send it today and learn with you today. <clears throat> Actually, anytime I learn Zena Shimchon, I feel he had Ruach HaKodesh <clears throat> because he always talks things that has to do with us daily. And today, Zera Shimshon, when I was learning, it clicked something with coronavirus, the connection. And I want to share with you. Before I start, you have no idea how much I want to say thank you to everyone that is participating here with us. And uh, those who are listening, Shi'ur on YouTube and Shi'urim online, <clears throat> Hashem should give them Brachava, Tzlacha, Besorotovot. All the sick people should cure. Hashem should give the Fuash Lema to everyone. Becheni, Razom, and Omar, Amen. And those who unfortunately passed away, Ruach Hashem, Tenichem, Bagan Eden, we always should have Besorotovot, share good news only. Now, Zena Shimshon quotes. Midrash Dorat Kohanim, Midrash from Sefer Vayikra, Parashat Kedoshim, Perek Tet. Hashem says to Jewish people, Ba'avdil etchem mina amid. 
you know, sitting of a Jew is different. Eating, different. Talking, different. Sleeping, different. Waking up is different. Praying is different. Respecting is different. Eating, brachot. All the things that Jewish people do is different. Why? Because Hashem says, Va'avdil etchem mina amim. Hashem says, and I separated you from different nations. Li that you should belong to me, that you should be to me, my nation. Im atem muvdalim mina amim, if you are separated from other nations means you know you're part of Klal Israel. You don't go among the Goyim, you know? You know your value. If you are separated from Goyim, Im says, if you're separated from Goyim, you are mine. You belong to me. Im but if you're not separated from Goyim, Hare Atem Shel Nebuchadnezzar Machaverao. If you not mine, then you belong to Nebuchadnezzar and his friends. Who is that? King of Goim. I don't understand. If I belong to Hashem, good. If I don't belong to Hashem, I belong to Nebuchadnezzar. What is to do with Nebuchadnezzar? Who, when Nebuchadnezzar come to the picture from? Who is he? Well, I can't let you know. Till here, Midrash quotes, this is what Hashem says. If you separate yourself from Goim, you belong to me. But if you're among Goim, you belong to Nebuchadnezzar and his friends. Bilam, Balak, Paro, and goes on. All the kings of Goim. Why kings? Why kings? What does it do with kings of Goim? Utema. And this is wondering. The Mabal audience, what is this coming to teach us? But you want Bemashe Pinsua Mekubalim, and it understood how Mekubalim explained Al Pasuk regarding the Pasuk. Hayu Tsareha Lerosh, and those who tortured her. Those who tortured Yerushalayim, we cry this in Megillat Echa when we read on Tisha B'av, we say, those who tortured Yerushalayim, they became heads. Anyone that they made fun of Yerushalayim became heads. Anyone that oppressed Yerushalayim became heads. Anyone that destroyed Yerushalayim became heads. The Amruzal, our Chachamim said, in Gemara Gitzim, page 56b. Anyone tortures Jewish nation, Kalal Israel becomes a head. If you know anyone tortures Kalal Israel, he becomes a head. Jewish nation. We are from the birth created certain way that we should be roots. We should have roots in Kiddushah. Always thinking Torah, always thinking Hashem, always thinking Derech Eretz, always thinking Mitzvot. We should be with roots into the Torah daily, daily. Always Torah, Derech Eretz, Mitzvot, No Lashonara, only Kiddushah, Brachot, Kiddush, Kaddish, you know. Only Amen, Baruch Baruch Shmo. All the time we should be roots into the Kiddushah. And this is true. When we do Hashem's will, we always have roots in Kiddushah. Aval, but sometimes, when Kalal Israel people, some Jews sin. A kedusha porachad mehem. It's like a cup of water that has hole in it. Let open the door. A cup of water has hole in it. When you make hole on the bottom, all the water comes out. When person does sin, 
he basically makes whole in his neshama. All the kedusha comes out from him. All the kedusha comes out. Come in. Tell him come in. Come in. Sit on the chair, please. Okay, when a person has sin, all the Kedusha comes out from him. When the Kedusha comes out from that hole, Tum'ah comes in. Impurity comes in. Bad thoughts, bad actions, bad words. He desires to eat not kosher food. He desires to do not kosher things. He desires to do... Not, he decides to speak not kosher words and suddenly his thoughts are bad and the words are bad and the actions are bad. He doesn't know where it comes from. The answer is because he began making sins. He made a hole in the foundation. So instead of full cup, full neshama of kedusha, comes inside all the tum'ah, all the impurity. Ulfi but you know what? A Jew, no matter what, is always a Jew. He always, sometimes, some mitzvot he keeps. Some mitzvot, even small ones. One, two mitzvot, every time Jew keeps. Take keys, take keys, go to the... Ten minutes. All the time, people keep mitzvot. All the time. You know, no matter if you see a person walks around without keeper in the street, or you see he doesn't go to Minyan, doesn't do certain mitzvot, some mitzvot he always has. And that mitzvot keeps him, like in the bottom of the cup, one, two drops. One, two drop of holiness it keeps. One, two drops of holiness. It always has some kedusha. Ufishe olam shel olam hem mekayimim eze mitzvah mishumachi eze nitzot shel kedusha nishar bahim. Therefore, some kedusha is in them always living. Aval zeh nitzot hanishar o es alehem. But these two drops that are in him very angry at him. They say we were five thousand drops. It remain only two drops. These two drops are so angry at the person. These two drops of holiness that remained in him, they're very angry at him. Why? Because he got separated from the foundation of holiness. He sees that he made, it threw him out of the base of holiness. He became, he became separated from the source of the holiness. And because it remained with a few drops, these few drops are angry at him now. Now, he's sitting with full of cup of impurity. Only two drops pure, the rest all impurity. The two drops are so angry at him that he gave away all the kedusha for two two or three sins that he ran after. Now, we'll go to the next piece. Listen how Zerah Shimshon opens our proper thoughts in life. You know, oftenly we think, ah, who am I? I'm nobody. Big deal if I make Tutti Averot here, if I eat not kosher food here, if I don't make bracha, you know, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. One small sin causes another sin. Eventually, takes person out of the base, takes person out of Kiddusha. Only remains with him two drops out of five or ten thousand drops. You know how painful is this for these two drops? They get very angry at him. They say, You'll pay for it. You cause us two jobs, we will pay for it. Now what happens? Listen to these guys. This shiur is very deep. Before I speak about the deep parts, I want to let you know, everything is run by Hashem. Some people say, coronavirus scientists, 
bad guy, this, that. It's all run by Hashem. Things happen from Hashem. Whatever we hear, mm, no questions. You want to ask yourself a question? Ask yourself, say, what can I do better? What can I do better? Now, I'm reading inside. Listen and enjoy. Do you know any king of a guy? He has a spark of Kedusha, holiness. Any guy, king, Trump, Obama, Bush, Netanyahu, Putin, this, that, anyone, he has spark of Kedusha. Park. Therefore, we have Allah, if you see a king, not president, if you see a king with his garments, you have mitzvah to go and give a bracha. Hashem, blessed are you <coughs> that you gave from your honor to people. You see a king, go to king, you have to give bracha. Why? It's a little spark of holiness in it. Same spark, same thing like Esau had. You want to tell me Esau had spark? Yes. Esau had that holy spark. How do we know? As it says, he tied the field. Esau was feeding Yitzchak Avinu to his mouth. Esau was feeding food to the mouth of his father Yitzchak Avinu. Esau had spark of wholeness on his head. Because he had the wholeness spark in his head, therefore his head had to be buried in Maharada Machpelah. You know his head is buried, attached to the leg of Yaakov Avinu. Some say Esau's head was attached to the leg of Yitzhak Avinu. Okay, basically the head is buried there. Another, as we know, just because of the spark, maybe he will grab into the spark and he will make the shua and grow by this. This is the reason why it's Avinu loved Esau. Maybe he will grab into the spark and grow to do the spark. And now, when a Jew sins, this last drop that remains in him, if a Jew sins, he loses the whole cup of holiness. Only last drop remains. That last drop wants to attach himself to the Goyesha king. Why? Because Goyesha king has also one drop. Goyesha king has one drop, and Jew Hussein became with one drop. Because this last drop by a Jew gets attached to the one drop by a Goy, it gives power to this Goy to go against a Jew. Why? Because this last drop of a Jew is upset at the Jew because he made Averot. So now this Goy gets power to go against the Jew. Guys, did you understand what I'm saying? Who gave power to this coronavirus to go on us? You think Goy gave a power? Not true. People's sins give a power. Because when we sin, our deposit box becomes empty. It remains with the last drop. And then holiness leaves us, coronavirus goes in. And therefore, this corona comes in and then Sadiqim pass away. Tell me, you can ask me, Rabbi, that's not fair, what are you saying? If sinners sin, why the rabbis had to pass away? So many rabbis passed away, why? Guys, don't forget. These rabbis that passed away, they were eyes of the community, eyes of the Jewish nation. 
if Hashem sees, we see the truth, and we want to close our eyes, Hashem says, you close your eyes, means you don't need the eyes. Therefore, we lose such a big, big people. Each rabbi passed away, he was better than the other rabbi. Each tzaddik passed away. You know what I read today? Somebody sent me, in a pandemic time, people don't touch the dead body. They don't wash them. They go away from them. You know why? Because they give him to Hashem. This person doesn't need washing. He's pure as is. He doesn't need cleaning. He's done. He's good. He just needs to go to Hashem because in Yeshiva Shel Malad, they're waiting for him to learn Torah from him. So, he's going there to learn Torah from Hashem. But can you imagine what brought that coronavirus? Person easy always to blame some other people. That is not true. It's us. And Baal Hashem, within this month, we made really to show that today we see results are going down from this coronavirus. And Bezad Hashem, within a week, should be fully, fully away from this world. But what we should come out from this? How we should take it with us into the daily life? Make sure you're responsible for your actions. Make sure you every day sit by the bed. You say, what I did today? How I learned today? How I grew today? Did I make peace between me, me and my friends, me and my, my, my wife, my husband, my people who I know? Did I make peace or did I, did I fight? Did I create good environment or did I create bad environment? Did I give proper benefit to my father and my mother, to my son and my daughter? These questions, every day we should ask ourselves seriously and be able strongly to answer, yes, I did. Yes, I did. These questions will give us future guarantee. We'll never have this pandemic stuff anymore. Because Tum'ah never comes into the person's body unless there is room, unless the Kedusha left. Once Kedusha leaves, then Tum'ah comes in. If Kedusha is always there, Tum'ah cannot come in. You understand? Now let's go to the last piece. Now let's go to the last piece. And now, this is very clear, this is what Midrash says. If you are separated from Goyim, you don't sin. Your box of your Neshama is full with holiness. Once it's full with holiness, there's no room for Tum'ah comes in. If Tum'ah cannot come in, he can get Corona. Not you, not the nation. Not you, not your nation, not our nation. Not Klal Israel. Because one responsible is for another. Are atem sheli. Hashem says, if you don't sin, you separate yourself from God. You mind. Hashem says, I am filling your neshama. You are full of me. There's nothing there. I am protecting you. Mushrashim kulchem bekedusha. You have roots rooted into holiness. but if God forbid. You follow Goisha friends, Goisha people. I follow him on website. I follow him on Facebook. I follow him on Instagram. Why are you trying to stick yourself under the Goy? Into a Goy? Stop. Stop. This is where the weakness of class comes. This is why so many Jewish people lost their lives. Beam love. But if we stick ourselves to Goyim, what happens? Then you become friends with Nebuchadnezzar and his people. Once you attach yourself to them, your spark, that the main last spark called holiness in you, will attach yours itself with the first spark of a goy king and give him the whole power. The whole power. And then he has power to come and destroy us. Sometimes physically, sometimes spiritually, and sometimes both. 
this pandemic didn't hit us spirit, spiritually, didn't hit us physically, it hurt us both. Sadikim passed away. You cannot open synagogue. You cannot open yeshiva. You cannot say Kaddish. You cannot say Amen Is there more than this? Why? One Avera that emptied our neshama, took all the wholeness away. Proof. Proof. We found that Nebuchadnezzar. Nikra Arye. Nebuchadnezzar was a low of low. Jewish nation started sinning. They emptied their neshama. One drop of Jewish holy neshama remained that made him into a lion. He got attached with Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was called a lion. And he came and he destroyed our lion, Beit Amigdash. Beit Amigdash is called the lion. How Nebuchadnezzar got this power? Because one of us, one of Klal Israel people, made Avera, emptied his deposit box from this mitzvot, from Kedusha, got into Tum'ah, and gave koach to Nebuchadnezzar. Bechriv Beit Amigdash! And he destroyed Beit Amigdash. And he cried a red that is called the lion. Moshe Amru Zal. As our Chachamim saying, Gemar Megillah, Chazal say, Gemar Megillah, page 11a, Ubederech Zeyuman, Nami, Mashe Amru Zal, Beferek Kamat de Brachot. And now it's understood what it says in Gemar Brachot, page 7b. Rasha, Tzadik Mimenu Bolea. Tzadik, who is a little bit better than Rasha, he will swallow him. But Tzadik Gamur, and Obolea. But if you're pure tzaddik, complete tzaddik, your deposit box is full with Kedusha, he's not going to swallow you. Why? There is no room for coronavirus here. There's no room for Nutrumah. There's no room for impurity. And now, what did we come out from here with? We have to come out from here with a plan. The plan is, every night I'll sit and I will mix to myself Cheshbon and Nefesh. Calculating my soul. What I did, what I didn't do, what I gained, what I didn't gain, how I could make myself better communication with other people, with my friends, with my siblings, with my parents. How will I be good with other people and how will I be good keeping in mitzvot? Praying with kavana, not just simple, brrr, done. Wearing feeling with kavana, kedusha, saying words clearly. Praying clearly. Somebody makes bracha answering amen. This plan, I know in a month too, when everything comes down, everything goes good. Some people, it's our nature. We come down, we get relaxed. No. Grab into this and stay with this. Stick with this. Because this will give our life. Connection with Hashem is the only way to survive. Not in one of the ways. That's the only way. A connection with Hashem. Connection with Hashem. Only connection with Hashem. Only that will help us survive. There's nothing else will help us survive. Not in here, not in the world, not in anywhere. The only thing is connection with Hashem. What does connection with Hashem? Not sinning. Simple. Don't do Avera. You don't do Avera, as the Hashim Shon says, your deposit box doesn't become empty. The last drop that remains that every Jew has doesn't get angry. And once doesn't get angry, doesn't get into one drop of a Goyish king, connection to him, like Nebuchadnezzar, doesn't give him strength, doesn't give him power to come and destroy your own house, And once we sinned, our Nashamot got empty. Tell me, Look at everyone. Within one month, everyone got sick. Why? Because we see. Because our neshama got empty. Neshama gets empty, tomorrow comes in. But you know what? Hashem has certain, 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 certain love to every one of us. And he returned our neshama back. Because he knew there's some stuff we could do in life We outbeat. We will, we will do something great in the community to protect the community. And this is why Hashem gave our Neshama back. 
those tzaddikim who left, it's Hashem's plan. If Hashem wouldn't take them, there would be millions and millions. Each one tzaddik went, he saved millions, at least. Because if you look at the history, if you know where pandemics began, this is pandemic number 10 in life. The first one was 1950. 1950, half of the world died. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. 1450, 600 years ago. Close to 600 years ago. 570 years ago. In 1450, half of the world was dead. In 18, 1870, then was also pandemic. You have no idea. People lost their town. Millions. Hashem has certain lachmanut for us. He stopped by this number. It goes today. Even this will stop by Hashem by a few days. But guys, let's get serious. Let's get serious. I beg you. You come out from this. You get to talk in public. Don't talk. Guys, we are sinners. We did this. Don't open Satan's mouth. Jewish nation is whole. This is what I read from Zerah Shimson, just to show you connection, how this corona went into us. But you should know one thing. Don't make mistakes. Jewish nation is holy nation. One Jew passed away, he saved millions of Goyim and Jewish people. Jewish, there's no one Jewish nation in the world. You'll never find it. They fight to make Minyan. They fight to open yeshiva. Today, if you would know that there was a war in Israel in Bet Shemesh between rabbis and police officers. Students saw their rabbis being in handcuffs. They went risking their life and they punched police officers. Why? Love of Torah. This, this is Klal Israel. You want to talk? Talk positive thinking about Jewish people. Why? Don't bring me that idea. This is very important. We do this, we do this stuff, we do this. Coronavirus, everyone woke up, everyone made the show up. We have plan. We'll make from today my actions better. Between me and my family, between me and people, between me and Hashem. This is the only way is Hashem's way. There's no other way. If I'm good outside and I'm miserable in the house, or vice versa, or I'm good with people and I'm miserable with Hashem, or vice versa, it's not a worth a penny. You got to be good outside, inside, and with Hashem. Once you're good everywhere, then you're good. Every night, before you go to sleep, starting tonight, Hashem, my father, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, my wife, my children, Am I good with them? If not, if I'm not good somewhere, take a phone, be a man and call. You know what happened? I'll tell you something. Even some people are embarrassed to say, I'll tell you. Around a month and a half, maybe two months ago, there was an incident between one kid and Yeshiva. And what happened is, I got a phone call. I got a phone call, this and this kid, he did this and this. And to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, it was not a kid's fault. It was not a kid's fault. Because when I went make research, I found out that the kid was bullied. And then I got a phone call from the rabbi second time. And I was very upset at his actions. And I spoke to him not nice. I proved him he was wrong. Then I spoke to him not nice. said, very upset at your age. And I gave him two, three words that are not necessary. Two weeks ago, I remembered this. And I said to myself, is that Torah way to make somebody upset? Okay, speak to him to make sure he understands his life. You know, he understands his mistake. But why should I say such two words? I tried to find his phone number. And I couldn't. And day after that, he called me himself. I, you know, I wanted to talk to you about something. I said, stop, stop. I want to apologize for that phone, phone phone conversation that we had because I realized I was wrong. 
Good shot. Like, no, no, no. What are you talking about? No, I, said, I was wrong. I want you to forgive me. I did that. I felt so good. I felt so proud of myself. Why? Because to get strength to do that, you need to get strength. It's not easy. To say sometimes, I know, I'm sorry, it's easy. But to get strength when you realize you were wrong. And you hate and you try to fix it, this is very important. And you feel good about yourself. And you feel connected with them. My advice, To all of you, let's look from now on to everyone positive. Smile, happiness. You should know one thing. How much Hashem allows us, you have no clue. When you will come out from this, you will see what kind of people went through what. I don't say what kind of people passed away. I don't I talk about it. You will see what kind of people went through what. Somebody today by accident showed me a message. How many people passed away within this week? At least 10 I knew. Not I knew they were sick. I knew we were sitting with them in your shows, in parties, just a month and a half ago. 10. They were not sick people. And you know what? What I did right, that Hashem returned my Neshama back. Therefore, we have to stop and say, Hashem, thank you. I love you. You gave my Neshama back. You look at your wife, thank you, Hashem. You look at your child, thank you, Hashem. You look at your husband, thank you, Hashem. You look at your father, thank you, Hashem. You look at your mother, thank you, Hashem. You could talk to Hashem, thank you, Hashem. Look at life with smile, happiness. You should know, I'm telling you, one, two, is everything will be done. It will remain as a history. And you know what? Take this with you. Thank you, Hashem. Anything happens, you have no idea. Whatever you have, other people can get. Be happy with what you have. Be thankful with what you have. Hashem, give you many, many more happiness, health. If you know somebody, sick, Hashem should give them a full shlema. You should go through this fast. Positive. Positive people, looking good in people, thinking good about people, sending good things to people. And we should grow in Torah and mitzvot. Amen. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. I'm sorry I took a little bit of your time, but you should know. When I was learning the Zerashim song, I said, wow, this is Gvalt. Thank you, guys. Good night. That's the Haraba.